Business On Purpose Podcast. What makes you unique if the product you deliver, the service you deliver, is really just a commodity? Hey, it's Scott Beebe, the Business On Purpose Podcast. Time to be liberated from the chaos of working in your business. I'll never forget the moment uh, that I had a couple of home builders, custom home builders that build beautiful homes anywhere between 700000 to about $2 million. I mean, these are really, really nice homes. And we were talking one day and I said, guys, you realize that your homes are a commodity. They're like beans and rice and gasoline. <laughs> and you could see them kind of look back and I said, no, 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 I don't want you to be offended. I don't want you to be offended. I want you to think about this. To an untrained guy like me, I'll drive through a neighborhood and that house looks beautiful. That house looks beautiful. That house is gorgeous. But do you realize I have no idea who built it? It's a commodity. What's not a commodity, and this is the real uniqueness of who you are. And this is why I want to challenge you on your mindset of competitors. We look around and just because somebody has the same subtitle on their van or their truck, we think them as a competitor. So I just got passed by an HVAC truck. In fact, the HVAC truck I just got passed by is on a road that leads to another HVAC company, the headquarters of another HVAC company. And so you would look at that truck and go, okay, that's a competitor truck to the other HVAC company that's at the end of this road. Not really. Yeah, they both do servicing of air conditioning units, duct cleaning, filter uh, uh, changes, uh, routine maintenance, those sorts of things. They, they, they have all of those same services, but the service is a commodity. Whether I get Joe to come service my air conditioning unit or Cindy to come service my air conditioning unit, I'm assuming that they've kind of got the same training and so it's really a commodity. Here's the uniqueness. Here's where you can begin to really, really stand out. It's in the experience surrounding the commodity. And so it's one thing to buy large quantities of beans and rice. It's a completely different thing to buy a large quantity of beans and rice with a relational aspect with the person that you're actually conducting business with. So when I buy a widget on Amazon, that's a very different experience than when I buy a similar widget, usually for a higher price, at a local purveyor. So let's say that I want to buy a unique bar of soap. When I buy that bar of soap on Amazon, I'm buying a commodity with very limited experience. In fact, their uniqueness is quick, inexpensive service. When I decide to buy a custom bar of soap from the local general store, which is more of a gift shop, the soap is still a commodity, it's just soap. But the experience is much different than what plays out in Amazon. And that's what you're focused on, is the experience. And so when we look at the reality of the commodity, we've got to get out of the commodity mindset. We've got to start looking at our products and service and go, okay, there's some uniquenesses. There's some twists that we can put in there. But at the end of the day, to an untrained eye, my product and service is a commodity. I'm a small business coach. We're a team of coaches. We liberate small business owners from their chaos. What makes us unique is not not coaching. There's a lot of people who coach. What make us unique is our mission to liberate small business owners from their chaos and the experience of the four steps to business freedom that you walk through. And so that experience is what sets us as unique relative to all of the other business coaches that are good and available. There are many people who need a business coach, but they don't want me as their business coach or they don't want you as their business coach. It's not because of the coaching. The coaching's the commodity. It's the beans, the rice, the gasoline. They choose me over you or you over me because of the experience. And so what experience are you breeding that sets the stage for the commodity that you're delivering? Now, again, you can put twists and turns on the commodity. That's good. That's an upgrade. But that's an upgraded commodity. It's beans in a nice bag. So what's the experience that you're laying out for other people that will allow them to look at you and go, okay, I see two home builders, I see two HVAC providers, I see two uh, retail shops providing soap, I wanna go with this one because they're 
uh, fast and cheap or because they're unique and quirky. The experience is what's going to set you apart. The commodity is the product and service. Hey, if you need help, go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash vision. You can write out your vision right there or check out four steps to businessfreedom.com. And as always, we'll see you right here next time on the Business on Purpose podcast.